Welcome, my name is Jesse and you are listening to The Wake Up Call. This show is about opening your eyes to how you've been living, bringing awareness to the standard you've been operating at, and helping you start living to your full potential. There are two ways I'll help you do this. One, by disciplining your mind, and two, by strengthening your body. It's time to take stock of your current performance and go to the next level. Let's do this. Welcome to episode number two of The Wake Up Call. Hope you guys are having a tremendous start to your day, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're listening. Today's episode is going to be talking about discipline. Now, this is a very close topic uh, that I really enjoy diving into, and uh, it's for an interesting reason, actually. I was actually just writing up a training manual the other day, and one of the things regarding discipline is that so many people want it, yet so many people are not prepared to do what is required to have it. And that right there is caused by a lack of discipline. And I wanted to start this podcast just to read a short passage out of a book that I read earlier this year. It's called Discipline Equals Freedom, Field Manual by Jocko Willink. So Jocko is one of my uh, mentors. He is somebody who I look up to, who I aspire to uh, for a lot of different reasons. But I want to read a short passage out of the book. Um, And the reason I want to do this is because it's going to save you a lot of time, effort, energy, and heartache if you can understand the concept that I'm about to read to you. So here we go. The way of discipline. People look for the shortcut, the hack. And if you came here looking for that, you won't find it. The shortcut is a lie. The hack doesn't get you there. And if you want to take the easy road, It won't take you to where you want to be. Stronger, smarter, faster, healthier, better, free. To reach goals and overcome obstacles and become the best version of you possible will not happen by itself. It will not happen cutting corners, taking shortcuts, or looking for the easy way. There is no easy way. There is only hard work, late nights, early mornings, practice, rehearsal, repetition, study, sweat, blood, toil, frustration, and discipline. Discipline. There must be discipline. Discipline. The root of all good qualities. The driver of daily execution. The core principle that overcomes laziness and lethargy and excuses. Discipline defeats the infinite excuses that say, not today, not now, I need a rest. I will do it tomorrow. What's the hack? How do you become stronger, smarter, Faster, healthier, how do you become better? How do you achieve, how do you achieve true freedom? There is only one way, the way of discipline. So that is two pages from the book, Discipline Equals Freedom, Field Manual by Jocko. And the reason I share that with you is because it's such an important part of achieving goals. Whatever your goals might be, whether you want to become a super lean human being with abs, whether it's to become the best version of yourself possible, or whether it's to become so strong that you can do feats that you never thought possible, okay? It all revolves around you becoming disciplined in your daily decisions and actions and choices, okay? So the way that you become disciplined, I define discipline as doing what needs to be done regardless of how you feel about it. And this is where a lot of people get stuck is you're doing really well. You've just started a new training program, an exercise regimen, and you're doing that. And then one day, maybe let's say you sprain your ankle. And then it's like, okay, do I do I get up? Do I try and work around this or do I just call it quits? So discipline is having the fortitude to say, okay, I can't use one ankle. It's akin to having a flat tire. One out of four tires are flat. You're not going to stop and get out of the car and slash the other three tires because you've got one flat. No, you fix the one tire or you work around it so you can keep moving forward. And that is what discipline is. It is about choosing the right path. And oftentimes it is the harder path but it helps keep you moving forward. And that's ideally, that's ultimately what you have to do. If your goal is to improve your body, to improve your life, 
you need to start implementing discipline every single day. And there are so many ways to do that. And I'm going to show you and I'm going to give you ideas and how you can do this over this podcast and also future podcasts. So I want to start at the very beginning. My background is as a personal trainer and a strength coach. So I work one-on-one with people. I work with small groups. And one of the first things, the most fundamental thing we have to establish is, what is your goal? What do you want to achieve? So some people some people just like exercising because it feels good. It's, uh, it's a healthy way to release some stress and it's where they can put a bit of time, effort and energy into themselves. So it's a bit of me time, so to speak, which is great. So if your goals are more sort of I'll use the word average or, you know, that you don't have lofty targets. That's fine. But most people, when I speak with them and when we start talking, most people have a goal of some description, whether it's to drop five kilos, maybe it's to fit back into that dress that's been hiding away in the cupboard gathering dust um, and you don't want to look at it, but you'd love to put it on. Or maybe it's to fit into a red bikini. Everybody has something, some goal, some desire deep down that they want to achieve. And I'm sure you do as well. It's human nature. We want to achieve things. We want to be good. We want to improve. So first of all, you have to ask yourself, what is it that you want to achieve? Once you know what that goal is and what it looks like, you then have to ask yourself another question, which is where most people miss. They miss this vital and important step. You need to ask yourself, what you are prepared to do in order to achieve that goal. And it's interesting, when I ask people this question, they don't really take a lot of time to respond. So I, I remember I asked somebody, you know, what they were prepared, I can't remember exactly what the goal was, but that, that's not really important for, for this, um, this next part. I asked them what they were prepared to do to achieve their goal, and they said, anything, I, I'll do anything, I'll do whatever it takes. So if we think about that, that word and that statement logically, anything, I could say anything under the sun and that person apparently would do it. So I, I retorted, I, I shot back not long after that and I said, would you cut off your leg? I think, I think the goal was to lose weight. So you know, if you wanted to see the number on the scales drop, Cutting off your leg is one way to do it. I wouldn't recommend it, and I don't recommend it, but I just asked the question, would you cut off your leg? And this person was like, well, no, of course not. That's understandable. But then you have to go back to what, what the statement was previously. I'll do anything. I'll do whatever it takes to achieve that goal. Cutting off your leg is anything. So therefore, you have to really take the time, the effort, and the energy to go deep What are you prepared to say yes to? What are you prepared to say no to in order to achieve your goal? Are you prepared to get up at five o'clock and go and do your cardio, for example? Yes or no? And this is also where people need to be realistic. You know yourself better than anybody else does on this planet. So if you know, for example, you're not going to get up at five o'clock no matter what, then don't say you're going to get up at five o'clock. Try something else. Maybe can you get up at six o'clock? Is that feasible? Is that realistic? Is that actually something that you will do and commit to? And when I talk about commitment, if you're saying you will get up at six o'clock, I'm talking all year round here. It's easy to get up at six o'clock in summer because the sun's up, it's warm. But when it's winter, when it's five degrees outside, when all you'd rather do is just sit there in your comfy bed, wrapped up in the blankets, the last thing you're going to want to do is get out of bed and go and do some exercise. So these are questions you have to ask yourself. And this is something I do with my clients. I get very, very deep and specific with their, their current goals and also the actions required to achieve them. Okay, so these, these are things you need to start to learn to do is rather than just saying, I want to achieve 30 kilos and off I go, bang. That's all well and good, but what happens when you hit your first roadblock? What happens when you find a bit of challenge and adversity knocking on your door? Or, you know, maybe you've had a real shit day at work and all you want to do is crack open 
a bottle of wine and sit down and order a pizza? <laughs> Are you still going to do what you need to do in order to achieve your goals? Okay. And that's where you need to become disciplined. It doesn't happen overnight, guys. It takes time. It takes time. And inevitably, the next question people ask is, well, how long does it take? And my response is something that nobody likes to hear, but everybody needs to hear. It takes as long as it takes. It's one of these ones, you get out what you put in. If you do not put any time, effort, focus, and importance on developing discipline, you won't get it. You won't be a person of discipline until you change the narrative and the story that you tell yourself. So it was interesting. I had a conversation recently with one of my clients and she's been doing really well, kicking ass, following her program, even in this whole coronavirus situation. And we both know from history and experience after working together for a number of years that she functions best when she does her exercise first thing in the morning. So she gets up, she gets it done before the day gets away from her. And it was interesting, we had the conversation that she's been ticking her habits off and following her routine to a T. I provided her with a program, it's been structured, she knows exactly what exercises to do. She has the exercise tutorial video, so she knows how to do everything the right way. So we've checked in with her and she's got lots of ticks on the board. And she has now made the connection that in order for her to achieve her goals, she has to train in the morning, no questions asked. Because after work, whether it's been a good day, a shit day, an average day, whatever, in the afternoon, that's when things can go wrong. Maybe she gets stuck at work. Maybe she just doesn't feel like training. But if she does it in the morning, she knows that she's at least ticked that box and it usually sets her up for a really productive and successful day. So that's discipline. She's not a morning person, but she is conditioning herself to get up and do what she needs to do so she can have the result that she wants. So discipline, guys, it takes time, it takes effort, and it's going to take consistency. Discipline isn't one monumental act, okay? It's loads and loads of consistent, repetitive actions. And sometimes they're gonna be boring, like getting out of bed at five o'clock. That's boring, you do, it the same, you do the same thing every day. But eventually, one tick on the board leads to two ticks. And then two ticks leads to three. And once you start stacking these wins and getting ticks on the board, you start to feel pretty good about yourself. You see the ticks on the board, you're like, shit, I'm actually making progress here. And when you become successful, you start building a habit of success. You start breeding a mentality of winning, of creating a streak. One tick, two ticks, three ticks, four ticks. And suddenly you have momentum. You have a bit of motivation. You have a bit of you know, traction. You're moving forwards towards your goals just by taking one small action a day, which leads to two and then you've got that consistent motion. Okay, so once you start moving, it's easy to keep pushing that rock in the same direction, okay? But what you need to understand with discipline, guys, is it is available to anybody. You do not have to be gifted, you do not have to be special, you do not have to be born a certain way or in a certain country, okay? It comes down to your willingness to do what's required even when you don't wanna do it. Okay, that's all it is. So oftentimes it's doing things you don't want to do. And that doesn't sound very appealing, but that's what discipline is. And it gives you freedom, and the freedom it gives you is to have your long-term goal. So let's say you wanna lose 30 kilos. A couple non-negotiables for losing that amount of weight. The first one, this is non-negotiable, this is a fact, you must be in a calorie deficit. You may not like it, but the fact remains you still have to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight. So if you adhere to that principle, I will do what it takes regardless of how I feel about that situation. If you stay in a calorie deficit for more days out of the week than not, you will lose weight. So let's say every single week you are in a calorie deficit. At the end of the week, you could expect to lose some weight. And if you don't, you don't change anything. 
So let's say you've done the right thing and you've been in a calorie deficit, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you've adhered full seven days and you hop on the scales and nothing changes. Do not shoot yourself in the foot and think, oh, it's not working, I'm gonna go back to what I used to do, fuck this, and you throw the towel in. That's a sure way to fight, uh, that's a sure way to fail. What you need to do is be consistent. If you do the right things at the right frequency, you will get results. This is how it works. There's no magic. There's no one gonna tap you on the shoulder and sprinkle some fairy dust on you and say, voila, you magically change. It doesn't work like that. It comes down to your daily choices, your daily decisions, and your daily actions. And if you take the right ones on a consistent basis, things are gonna move forward for you. You're gonna progress and you're gonna get close to your goal. That's how it works. There's no magic here. A plus B equals C. If you do this over a long enough period of time, you get that, an end result and outcome. I hope that makes sense. And I'm raising my voice a little bit because it's something I'm really passionate about. Um, and I talk about it very frequently, very often. If you've been following my stuff, uh, my information for a while online, you know I repeat this information over and over again. And it's to try and make sure that this information sinks in. Discipline isn't sexy. Discipline is about doing hard shit on a regular basis. Okay, so that's really what it comes down to. Doing what you need to do, regardless of how you feel about the situation. If you're motivated to do something, awesome. You're gonna have no issues getting up and training or eating the right thing, eating the salad and saying, no thank you, I don't, I don't, want, a, I don't want a muffin with my coffee because I'm trying to lose weight and I'm doing really well, thank you though. If you're doing the right things and you're motivated to do them, awesome. But my question to you is, what do you do when you're not motivated? We're almost in winter and yes, winter is coming. This is where people start to change their actions because of the season starts to change. Actions should not change due to a season changing. They do, but they shouldn't. And that means having discipline. I recently spoke to some clients about uh, going for their weight vest walks or just walking or running outside. What do you do if, what are you, what are you going to do if it starts raining or it's blowing a gale? As long as it's safe to do so, and it's not lightning or thunder or anything like that. If it's raining, and you're and, and let's say it's it's a Friday as I record this. Let's say on Friday your plan is to go and do a 45 minute weight vest walk, and it's raining. I would expect you to go and do your weight vest walk, and if it means layering up, putting a waterproof jacket on, waterproof pants on, you have to do it. That is discipline. You stick to the plan. You do what you need to do regardless of the situation or how you feel about it. Is it convenient? No. Is it ideal? No. But once again, you need to be a realist. Not everything's gonna be sunshine, lollipops and rainbows, and you're gonna to have to deal with that. Okay, so that's Discipline, guys. I would highly recommend you check this book out, Discipline Equals Freedom, Field Manual by Jocko Willink. It's a great book. I have all of his books, and I recommend all of them to all of my clients and I would recommend that you go and check them out as well. It's made a massive difference in my life and my daily decisions and how I operate and how I think. Okay. And the last thing I wanna finish off with guys is discipline is about delaying gratification. Delayed gratification means that you say no to something in the short term to say yes to something in the long term. So there you will be faced with options, choices, pleasures, temptations, and then it's your choice, it's your duty and decision to say, what do I really want here? Am I going to give in to this, whatever it is placed in front of me right now and basically self-sabotage the results that I want? Or are you gonna make the hard decision, take the path of discipline to do what you need to do when you're faced with that obstacle or that choice or decision. That's what discipline allows you to do. You make the correct decision in the moment because you know it's gonna give you a bigger payoff later on and you're gonna get the end result that you want. 
And like I said, it's not instantaneous. It's not going to be, I'm not having a sugar with my coffee and bang, five kilos falls off. It doesn't work like that, but it does happen over time if you are consistent. So that's it for episode number two, guys. I want you to think about what it actually means to be disciplined. So just to recap, you need to know, first and foremost, what is your goal? What is it precisely that you want to achieve with your body, with your health, your fitness, your life? What do you want it to look like? What, what do you want to be different? And then the second thing is, what are you prepared to do to achieve it? Are you prepared to get up at five o'clock? Are you prepared to you know, turn social media off at nine o'clock and get to bed earlier? Are you prepared to take your own lunch into work instead of buying it? These are, these are the questions you need to start asking yourself and, fund, and then ultimately answering. So the last thing I'll leave you with, guys, is it is your life. You can do what you want with it. But if you're not seeing the results that you want, there's only one person to blame. You. You are where you are for a reason. The good, the bad, the ugly, all of it is down to the choices, the decisions, and actions you have taken over time. And if you want different outcomes, you have to start taking different actions. So I'll leave you with that, guys. Think about it. Figure out, are you happy with where you are? Yes or no? And if you're not, what are you prepared to do differently to get different and better results? That's your bit of homework. That's what I want you to think about. I'll leave you there. Thanks for listening, guys. I'll speak to you soon for another episode. If you loved the wake-up call, found it entertaining, or got some benefit out of listening, I would appreciate you helping me to spread the word. Please share it with a friend or on social media so that you can pay it forward and give someone else the opportunity to improve themselves like you just have. Thanks for listening. We'll see you soon for another episode.